everyone, this is Travis Quadlander here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. And today we are looking at a beautiful, legendary black with Viper Red frame, 2024 Peterbilt 389. This truck is on the ground, ready to roll right now. And in fact, we have multiple units. If you've been paying attention to my channel, you've probably already seen the short video that I put together uh, about a week ago where I'm just talking over the photos. Well, we finally got the truck here on our yard. And man, <laughs> those pictures just don't do it justice. You've heard me say before that these legendary colors look great on photo, they look great on video, but man, to really see how awesome these legendary colors are, you really need to see them in person. Um, and this legendary black is really one of my favorite legendary colors because it's kind of a color that's got multiple personalities. In the shade or at nighttime, it looks like any standard black or maybe a black with a little bit of metallic. But man, in the solid daylight, solid daylight, I don't know if that's really a word, direct sunlight, this color really comes to life. And I really just love the contrast of this dark legendary black to this bright red, viper red frame. Really cool color combination. So let's go ahead and talk about the truck and its specs. Again, multiple units available. I will update the listing to say sold once I have confirmation that all of the units are sold. But if you're looking to get one or a uh, package deal on a couple units, this is a great truck to look at. Again, this is a legendary black with Viper red frame, 2024 Peterbilt 389 with a 78 inch platinum sleeper. Uh, as most of you know, this is the last year that Peterbilt is going to be making the 389. So again, another great opportunity to get a 389 while they're still available. Factory is completely sold out of build slots for the year. Again, we've got multiple of this exact spec and color combination on the ground, ready to roll. Again, a great opportunity to get a truck, uh, especially the 389 when they're none available. Um, getting back into the specs, this truck is powered by a Cummins X15 Performance Series engine, 565 horsepower and that ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, 20, 50 pound feet of torque. It's paired to an Eaton Fuller 18 speed manual transmission. It's on a 280 inch wheelbase. You're gonna see the uh, end of frame kind of looking a little bit different. We'll go into that uh, battery box, uh, space saver box that we have on both sides of the frame here in a little bit. Uh, again, 280 inch wheelbase. Up front, we have a taper leaf front suspension with the car hauler five inch drop. And on the rear, we've got the low air leaf rear suspension all aluminum wheels, all disc brakes. We've got low pro 22 fives uh, with the round hole aluminum wheels. Uh, we've got a 355 gear ratio. So those of you that complain that these modern engines don't pull the way the old ones do, well, with this uh, wheel and tire setup and that 355 gear ratio, this thing, this baby's gonna pull, especially in the hills, so kind of a brief overview of the main specs. Let's uh, get into more of the details. Of course, we did spec this truck with the uh, true dual exhaust. It's got the uh, seven inch true dual exhaust with the 60 inch miter tips, the upgraded fairing on the uh, exhaust. And, and there's your Y pipe. You've got the, not sure if you can see that Y pipe right there true dual exhaust, so no weed burner on here. Got your battery disconnect switch right here. While we're in a bit of direct sunlight, just wanna take another moment to show you that awesome legendary black paint. Again, seeing it in person is really gonna make a huge difference compared to seeing the video online and uh, seeing the photos online. Going back up top, we've got four horns on the roof. Um, if you do not want the four horns on the roof, we can have them removed. In fact, uh, one of my previous customers has already purchased one of these units. We're gonna remove the horns for him, refinish the roof, 
cover up the holes, paint the roof again, do it all the right way, and uh, change that to seven clear marker lights instead of the five. Uh, I love the four horns look. I think it's a really cool old school look if you prefer the uh, more modern look with uh, no horns on the roof, either the seven marker lights or 13 marker lights and the train horn, we're happy to do that for you. Got a factory stainless steel visor, got the old school mirrors, the standard mirrors, heated and powered of course. Got the 15 inch premium stainless steel breathers. Again, low pro 22 fives. Uh, we've got Bridgestone R213 16 plies up front. Again, all aluminum wheels with the uh, round holes. In the rear, uh, this truck was actually specced or the factory changed it to Bridgestone R213s, which are actually a steer tire. Uh, great for fuel efficiency. Uh, not the best in terms of uh, getting you traction in low traction situations. I'm assuming most of you that are gonna be looking at this truck are gonna want those swapped out to actual drive tires, and we are happy to do that for you. Um, we'll have some uh, drive tires going on, the first unit going out actually here early next week. Back of the sleeper, we've got six flush mounted load lights. That's the most that you can get from the factory. The long sleeper extenders, um, with a deck plate access on both sides. So you've got grab handles on both sides. One thing that I do like about the long sleeper extenders is not only do you get a grab handle right here and horizontally, but you also get a separate grab handle right here on that sleeper extender. Another horizontal bar for hanging your air and electric lines. They're not uh, getting all scraped up on your deck plate. This is the uh, space saver battery slash toolbox. So this is a little bit different than the uh, conventional toolbox that you normally see on our trucks. Um, you do have a small step. And again, it's nice to have that grab handle so you can get up on that deck plate very easily right there. Um, the uh, cover for this toolbox is really easy to open. I've done this before one-handed, opening it, putting it back on, it's a little bit easier with two hands. Let's see if I can get this off one-handed again. I think we're gonna feel be successful with that. Again, it's pretty lightweight, it's aluminum. I'm struggling a little bit. Let's see if we can't get this off. All right, cheating using two hands, but doing it while I'm filming. And there we go. Taking a look, that's what the uh, box looks like. Plenty of storage. Um, you can actually fit four batteries uh, in there. Um, obviously I wouldn't most likely use it for batteries unless you did wanna swap your batteries to go right here. Um, I would use it for other things like chains um, and any other type of equipment that you need to put in there. I'm gonna pause it for just a second to put the uh, cover back on here. And by the miracles of cinematography, we've got that uh, battery box, toolbox cover back on there. Hodge built premium 304 mirror finish stainless steel quarter fenders. These are the 24 inch. So the uh, Hodge built quarter fenders are available in a 24 inch triangle mount, a 30 inch triangle mount. Again, this is what I mean by the triangle mount or a 27 inch uh, tube mount. Um, all great options, um, just different preferences. Uh, I think it looks great on this truck. Continue on through, like I said, we've got the low air leaf rear suspension, all disc brakes, Holland FW35 fifth wheel with air slide. That is the most popular fifth wheel in the industry. Got the premium stainless steel spring loaded mud flap hangers, LED oval backup and tail lights mounted in that uh, end of frame piece right here for a nice clean look. Again, we've got that same battery slash toolbox, space saver box on both sides of the, of the frame. In terms of fuel tanks, we've got 110 gallons on the driver's side, 150 gallons on the passenger side.
coming around to the front, we have the Texas style bumper. That's the 18 inch Texas style bumper. This is the largest bumper that you can get from the factory. You'll notice this looks a little bit different than our normal Texas bumper. We've got the tow pin holes as well as fog lights from the factory, which is a pretty cool feature to have on these trucks. Not something that we normally spec, but a cool thing to have on these ones. Go ahead and hop inside. Another really cool, unique feature on this truck. Not only does it have a platinum interior, but it's been specced with a Saharan tan interior. And I think Saharan tan looks excellent on black. Arctic gray is definitely a more popular color in terms of what you're gonna see on most Peterbilt 389s. I think it goes well with any color uh, exterior where the Saharan tan either looks really, get, really good or not so good, if you understand what I'm saying, uh, on certain colors. And I really think that the Saharan, Saharan tan was a really cool, unique color choice to go with on this truck. Again, this is on a 280 inch wheelbase. You can see this truck has a stamped weight from the factory of 18,746 pounds. Of course, we went with the Sears Atlas 80 ultra leather seats. These are, in my opinion, the nicest and best seats that you can get from the factory. Um, we've got all rubber floor in the cab and the sleeper, so it's gonna be very easy to keep clean. Coming inside the cab, of course, we've got our all new digital dash. We've got 393 almost miles on the odometer. Got the upgraded premium leather wrapped steering wheel. All gauges in the B panel, so it's still got that old school look as much as we can have on this truck. So look at your Eaton Fuller 18 speed manual transmission with the uh, chrome gear shift right there. Taking a look in the sleeper, this is a single bunk sleeper with additional storage cabinets, as well as a factory fridge and business center. Of course, this truck is specced with the uh, premium mattress, which is pretty much a must have on a truck like this. Of course, you've got your space for your TV, microwave, and here's your business center right here. We'll go ahead and pull these drawers out. Again, you've got this nice tray so you can have a meal, work on your laptop or tablet, work on your logs or any other paperwork you need to do. Plenty of storage underneath that. And then you've got two of these trays with these black plastic containers that come out. Really nice storage feature to have on these trucks. Really like having a business center on a 389. And then this tray right here at the bottom, you can put drinks right there. Or if I'm wearing regular shoes, not boots, um, you can slide them in there and they're not taking up floor space in your sleeper. Over on the driver's side, here's a look at your factory fridge. If you've been following the 389 for a while, in the past it had a knob to control the on, off, and temperature settings, where now it's got this uh, push button to turn it on and LED indicators to let you know how cold you've got it set at. So there's least to max cold, and then hold that down for a couple seconds and it's like maximum cold. And then turn it off right here, very easy. Full size closet. Just look at your sleeper AC controls. Lifting up the mattress, super easy. All you have to do is just lift up. Tons of storage space underneath. I love that it's like two different storage compartments where you have this recess right here. You don't have to lift up the mattress to access it. There's your speakers. The storage goes all the way across the sleeper. And of course you've got your fire extinguisher, 
hazard triangles and tow pins, and there's your rear AC system. Forgot to mention that we did do the factory CB radio, so whenever you do that, you do get this nice housing on here, and of course, that is the best view in trucking. Go ahead and take a look at the heartbeat of this truck. I always think it's funny when people say that, but it is true, it is the heartbeat of the truck. Again, Peterbilt 389 is the only class eight truck that you can get with an all aluminum hood. One thing that's great about the upcoming 589, it is gonna have an all aluminum, aluminum hood as well. Um, so I am excited about that. There's a look at our beautiful Cummins X15 Performance Series engine with the 565 horsepower and that oh, 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 20, 50 pound feet of torque. Again, the Performance Series engines do get these nice black diamond plate badges. That is a little bit dirty because we had to get this truck brought in. Um, you can see we've got the uh, jumper terminals right here underneath the hood remote lube points, greasable front springs. Again, we did go with a tape relief front suspension, but it is that five inch car hauler, uh, sorry, five inch drop car hauler front suspension. So it's gonna give you that slammed look. Again, all aluminum wheels and of course, all disc brakes. Go ahead and get this all closed up. Again, all doing this all one-handed with that all aluminum hood. Make sure everything's lined up. One thing I don't always bring up is I do love how big and beefy these grab handles are on the uh, Peterbilts. Peterbilt specifically designs them to be big, beefy, so they're gonna be rugged and durable. And in addition to that, very easy to open and close, even on cold winter days where you're wearing full-size gloves. Thankfully here in uh, Dallas, Texas, we don't have to worry about that too much. Definitely not today on this warm July day. Here's a look, oops, sorry about the wind. Feels great on this summer day though. And there's a look at our beautiful legendary black with Viper Red frame 2024 Peterbilt 389. Again, we have multiple of this exact unit, same spec, same color combination, on the road, ready to roll. Give me a call, my name is Travis Quadlander. I'm here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. My cell phone is 817-504. 7220 or come see us at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt right here in Irving, Texas off of Loop 12 and Union Bauer. Um, I want to thank everyone in the trucking industry for keeping our country running when we need you the most. I know times are tough right now. We are going to do the best that we can to honor, appreciate, and support y'all because you really, you really keep our country running when we need you the most. Again, multiple of this unit available. Um, factory is sold out until the end of the year. This is the last year for the 389, so this is a great opportunity to get your name on one or a couple. Give me a call, drive safe. I look forward to hearing from you.